Welcome to Science Lab with Mrs. Keener. Water. We see it every day. All life depends on it. It's everywhere on our planet. And yet, if we look closer, we can see that it can do some pretty amazing things. Today we're going to do some experiments with water. In our first experiment, we can see that water acts like glue. It can make things stick together. Get two tiny pieces of paper. You can use scrap paper. Tear them into tiny pieces about the size of a fingernail. They don't stick together. But if you add a little bit of water to one of them, they can stick together. What I wonder is, can you make some bigger things stick together? Can you make the water lift something heavier than a little tiny piece of paper? Try it. Let me know what's the biggest thing you can lift up using a drop of water. Next, we're going to show how water sticks to itself. We're going to see how much water we can pile on top of a penny. If you don't have a penny, you can use a different coin or something else that's small and round and has an edge. I'm using a dropper, but you can use a spoon or whatever you have to move a small amount of water back and forth. How much water can you put on top of a penny? Can you pile it up like a mountain of water? In our third experiment, we'll show that sometimes things sink and sometimes things float depending on whether you stick them to the top of the water or not. If you drop a paper clip into water, it sinks to the bottom. But if you carefully put the paper clip on a fork and carefully lay the paper clip on the top of the water on the surface and carefully lower the fork away so that the paper clip stays on top, you'll see that you can get the paper clip to float on top. Because water kind of sticks to itself. It has what we call surface tension. I wonder if you can get this experiment to work with something bigger and heavier than a paperclip. Try it. So try these water experiments. See if you can get them to work with bigger, heavier things. Let me know how it goes. Share your pictures or video in Flipgrid.